Okay, so we're going to start off this project by looking for pictures of a ship. I'm going to be modeling my ship after the HMS Victory. So I'm just going to use this picture of the HMS Victory and kind of bring over into SketchUp and just draw over it so I can get each individual part that make up the hull of the ship. So when all the pieces are put together you can see that it makes up the hull of the ship and it looks really close actually to the HMS Victory. So if you want to download this ship I'll explain what you need to do. So you want to go over to File and then 3D Warehouse Get Models and then you want to type in Model Ship Plans and you should see it should be the first one by Mercurium you can see down there. Yeah, you want to click on that. Press download. And once you're in SketchUp and you have the file, you can go into camera and then press parallel projection. Then you want to go over to the top and hit the top view button. It will show you a top perspective of plans and once you've done that you are ready to print and to print you go into file, print preview and then you want to check the scale to be one millimeter by one millimeter so that when you print it out it's the exact same size as the SketchUp model. Once everything's okay press OK. Um, SketchUp has a pretty weird way of laying out the prints for you so there's not much you can do about that but uh, yeah. so you can but once they've all been printed out you can stick them together press print so go ahead and press print and hit OK once you've printed out all the pages it should look something like this and just stick them together. Once you've stuck them all together, you can go ahead and cut them all out. Once you've cut out all your pieces, the next step is to stick them all onto a piece of cardboard and cut them out. I'm going to be using super glue to put the parts together. You can use hot glue if you want to. Uh, I'm just going to be using super glue for this because it is less messy. Once you've stuck them all together, you'll notice that it is a little bit flimsy. And that's not a problem because the next step is to apply the decks.
This part can be a little bit fiddly, um, putting each individual gap between each strand. Uh, this might take you a while, you won't get it on the first try. I mean, you might. Once you've got two parts of the deck side by side, you can go ahead and super glue them down to secure them in place. Each deck is going to have three pieces of these square pieces. Just repeat these steps for the next three decks until you get to the top. Once again, make sure that you use super glue on all the joints to make sure everything is secured in place. Um, this is going to sound a little crazy, but I'm going to be using some steel balls as weights to center the mass of the ship to the bottom. Why am I doing this? Because I intend to make the ship float. And I know it's made out of cardboard. Trust me, I'm full aware of that, but you know, I've always wanted to uh, see a cardboard ship in water. So <laughs> we're going to stay tuned for that. We're going to be doing that in a couple of years. That's it for part one, we've made all the decks, we've assembled the initial shape of the ship. In part two, we'll finish off everything by adding the sides, putting the sails, adding the little details, cannons. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.